This week, we highlight another life well lived. On October 29, 1944, less than five months after American troops landed on the beaches of Normandy to begin the liberation of Europe, a group of about 50 of them gathered for a historic religious ceremony. They were Jewish soldiers standing defiantly on Nazi soil in the first German city taken by the Allies. The artillery still was falling around them as 22-year-old Private Max Fuchs sang that day. The American men, many of whom lost family members in the Holocaust, gathered between tank barriers near a destroyed synagogue. The service was broadcast back to the United States and eventually across Germany. Fuchs had sung cantor music at home in New York City and volunteered to sing in the battlefield ceremony. This photo, taken that day, hung in Fuchs's home, though his daughter says he rarely spoke about it. Max Fuchs was born in Poland in 1922 and given the name Mordecai. But when he immigrated with his family to New York, he went by Max. Fuchs was drafted into the Army and suffered shrapnel wounds landing at Omaha Beach on D-Day. After the war, Fuchs studied music on the GI Bill and worked as both a cantor and a diamond cutter in Manhattan, working well into his 90s. Max Fuchs, who helped to lead a historic Jewish ceremony inside Hitler's Germany, died this week at home in New York City. He was 96 years old.